Hello and welcome back to Advanced Animation Application, the show where we learn about animations and shit. Today we're going to be looking at blend spaces in Unreal Engine. So, first thing you do when you learn about blend spaces is you right click, you go animation, and we're going to hit blend space, not blend space 1D, but the one that has no dimension specified, which is a two dimensional blend space. Now we're going to do this for our standard Unreal Mannequin and we're going to rename this to ABS for Animation Blend Space underscore tutorial. Cool. Now we're going to double click on it and you will be bombarded with the Blend Space work space. So let's get familiar with it. Up here on the top left, we've got our axis settings or our axi settings, axions. For the example today, we're gonna to be setting up a, a walk slash run slash idle blend space. So our horizontal axis is gonna be called direction and our vertical axis is gonna be called speed. Now the axis values for direction are going to be negative 180 to positive 180 and the speed values are going to be zero to let's say 400 our, our character's maximum speed now additive settings we can ignore that animation we can also ignore that animation notifies so if you're using animation notifiers uh, this will specify which ones should be triggering so if it's set to all animations if you're halfway between a walk and a run animation, it will play all of the notifiers all over the top of each other. Pretty messy. So highest weighted animation is probably the safest bet. So there isn't really much else to do other than go to your asset browser. You're gonna find your run animations. You're gonna put your idle animation at the very bottom. We are gonna get our walk animation, walk forwards animation and put that in the middle. We're gonna get our walk left animation. We're gonna put that in the, the middle left. So this is at 90 degrees or negative 90 degrees. We're gonna get our walk right loop and put that here, positive 90 degrees. And we're gonna get our walk backwards loop and we're gonna put that at 180 degrees. And we're also gonna put this one at negative 180 degrees, same one. Then we're gonna get our run animations and we're gonna put that up there we're gonna get the run left put it there we're gonna get the run right put it there we're gonna get the run backwards and put them up in the top corners uh, and then just for safety we're actually going to get our idle animations again and we're gonna put our idle animations all along the bottom just to prevent any unwanted blending so this little green dot here is telling us at the value direction zero, if this is in the middle, and value speed zero, we play the idle animation. But if the speed moves up towards 200, it's gonna play our walking animation. And as we move that up to 400, it's gonna play the running animation. And also if we go to the side, it's gonna walk us sideways. And you know, same thing, he's gonna run sideways and you know eventually go backwards and same thing with the running and and you know all that good stuff so to get your animations lining up with you know the floor so when they're moving you know you might see some foot sliding and some real ugly stuff you can right click on these white dots and go to the rate scale and scale it up so you know now i've made my walk speed 1.3 so it's going to go a bit faster and that might work better so that's just a lot of trial and error the other thing that's pretty important when you're using blend spaces is to use notifiers or sync markers uh, or sync notifiers so i've got one for right foot plan and left foot plan and the way that you make these is add sync marker new sync marker and just make sure that they all have the same name so left foot plan and then what this is gonna do is when you have a lot of animations in a blend space, in a single blend space, or between animations in your anim graph later on, the animations will sync up so that the right foot is in the right spot between the animations. And so for things like this, it's uh, extremely necessary, especially if you've got, for example, maybe your walk loop only has two steps in it, but your run loop has, you know, it's a four step cycle or something like that. That's where these can come in clutch. So that's kind of blend spaces explained. That's how you set one up. Uh, I will go through a few more little examples of what they can be used for because they're not necessarily limited to just walking and locomotion animations and stuff like that. Let's have a look at some of mine. Uh, I've got one here. 
that is a, a landing animation and on one end it's a it's a you know a light landing and then on the other end it's like a super long you know heavy landing but it can blend you know in between them and they go for different lengths. I also use a blend space for my jump start animation. So on one side, the jump starts with the left foot and on the other side, it starts with the right foot. And some other ones I've got are when the character is falling. So depending on their falling speed, they will flail faster. And you know, as they approach really fast speeds, they sort of start to, uh, <laughs> start to try and parachute a little bit and i've also got one of them that's reversed so with the right foot first and the left foot first now the reason that i have the jumping animations have a left and a right version is because i always want the player to jump from their front foot so basically every time the character jumps it says okay which foot was forward okay it was the left one so we're going to play the left jump animation and then go into the left falling animation and that's you know all just handled by the blend space you can also use blend spaces for additive animations. So for example, you know, having your character lean back and forth as they accelerate or decelerate or turn around and stuff like that. I've got a blend space for, you know, when the character is running out of stamina. And so at 100 stamina or 100% stamina, they, you know, look fine. They're just walking. And then as I put this to zero stamina, they start breathing really heavily. So you can put additive animations in blend spaces, uh, and I will be covering that in an upcoming video. And that's just scratching the surface of what's possible with blend spaces. They're an extremely, extremely powerful tool. And I'd say, you know, at least half of your animations will be used in a blend space. So that's all from me today. If you found this educational or entertaining, don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe. And for your own sake, ring that notification bell so you can stay up to date with all the rest of the videos that are coming out very soon. If you really, really like what we do here on the channel, don't forget to check out our Patreon below. And if you're having any trouble with Unreal Engine or game development in general, 3D modeling, animation, shaders, make sure you jump in our Discord because we have a bunch of people from all around the world. We've got like all time zones covered and they're all ready to just help you figure out your problems for free so thank you very much for watching i hope you learned a lot and with that i say goodbye goodbye <laughs>